uh, I will just take you to session three. I want all of you to go through this chart very carefully. See, this is vitamin A, right? Vitamin, all of you will be getting this ebook, so you need not write, write it down. Okay, just listen to me and that should be good enough. So when I say vitamin A, you get vitamin A in liver. Which liver? You get it in uh, the liver of animals like maybe goat, you know, chicken, uh, you know, the uh, mutton liver and all. You get it in fish liver oil. As Neha was saying, cod liver oil. Cod is a kind of fish. They make a special kind of oil with the liver that is known as cod liver oil. You get vitamin A, abundant of vitamin A in milk. And of course, dairy products. What are dairy products? Cheese, curd, paneer, right? These are all dairy products. You also get vitamin A in green vegetables and of course, carrots. We have discussed about carrots for such a long time. Now, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, what we were discussing is uh, vitamin A. Vitamin A as we have discussed is fat soluble matlab vitamin a can be mixed with oil not with water it is fat soluble right and it is good for the eyes remember vitamin a is good for the eyes and it does not you know if there's a deficiency then as neha was saying that there will be night blindness the person cannot see at night but even at daytime if the room is dark the person will not be able to see just imagine Correct. So all of you must have a lot of milk and dairy products. All right. Now coming to vitamin D. What is vitamin D? Okay. These are all the vitamins that are fat soluble. We will be discussing water soluble vitamins next. Vitamin D is also as I was discussing is fat soluble. We get it in butter, egg, you know, uh, we get it in fish cod liver oil. As you know, the sunlight, we need a lot of sunlight to make vitamin D. And as we were discussing that vitamin D is required for the bone health. You know, it helps to absorb calcium. You might have a lot of calcium in your food. But if you don't have vitamin D, the calcium will not be utilized in your body. And this is what we were discussing, rickets, rickets in children. Correct? Where the bones become very soft and brittle. Tuck, tuck, karke, the bones will break. The child, if the child falls down, the bone will immediately break. It becomes so soft and brittle. Right? Now, we come to vitamin E. Vitamin E is also found in a lot of green vegetables, egg yolk, the yellow portion of the egg, milk, wheat germ. You know, we get vitamin E. What is the role? Vitamin A is basically an antioxidant. Antioxidant this is very good for our body, which, which actually uh, is a free radical scavenger. You know, it would be a heavy word for all of you, but these, you know, fights all kinds of infections also, right? And vitamin E, if the person lacks vitamin E, the hair, the skin, the nails will not be good. There would be a lot of problems, dry skin, itchy skin, hair fall with regards to vitamin E, okay? All right. Now next we go to uh, we go to the water soluble vitamins. Which are the water soluble vitamins? The water soluble vitamins are vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B6, B12, and C. You know these are water soluble vitamins. That means all these vitamins freely mix under water. We have discussed in depth about vitamin C, how, what happens in scurvy, bleeding of gums, you know, the uh, connecting point between teeth and gums, there's a lot of bleeding that happens. So one needs to have orange, citrus fruits, green vegetables, tomatoes, right? Now we come to vitamin B1. Where do we find, which all fruits do we find B1? We find it in whole cereals, right? We find it in cereals like oats, cereals like corns, you know, certain millets, wheat germ, yeast, milk, meat. These are full of vitamin B1. And what does it do? It helps body to oxidize food to release energy. All the food that we eat, you know, like carbohydrate, fat, 
it has to be absorbed no into the body and then it will give us energy these are all energy giving food remember we studied so vitamin b1 helps to digest all those food to oxidize and to release energy from them and in case does anyone have a doubt Yashika? yes tell me can you give me examples of all these vitamins so that i can understand them these are the examples of vitamins. For example, vitamin C, you know, was fruits, oranges, green vegetables. Similarly, vitamin B1 is found in milk. You would find it in whole germ. You would find it in oats. You would find it in corns. That is what I'm saying. These are the examples. These are all examples of vitamin D. Okay. okay. Now, we go back to uh, vitamin B6. Okay, we did not uh, study the, the deficiencies. B1 deficiency would cause beriberi. Beriberi is a, you know, deficiency of vitamin B1. If you do not have whole cereals, if you do not have yeast, milk, germ, wheat germ, you will have beriberi. What is beriberi? Beriberi is you will have a lot of pain in your hands and legs. Your legs and hands will be swollen. Uh, but ma'am, uh, when we study in our notebooks and textbooks in our school, we study like vitamin B uh, causes uh, deficiency disease very, very. Then this is like uh, type of B1, B2, B6. Then uh, each of it has uh, under type of deficiency. Yes, all the vitamins have different, different types of deficiency because they are found in different, different types of food. Even because they are very important. Okay, ma'am, I'm sorry. Now, because you are going in higher classes, you will have to learn a little more. When you go to class 7, you will learn even more about vitamin. There is vitamin B5, vitamin B9, vitamin you know B7. There are so many other types, but this year you will not study all. So more higher classes you go, you will study more. Okay. Now, vitamin B2, which cause dry mouth, dry skin. And you know, if children do not have proper vitamin B2, then... The child will not grow, the height will not come, they will not grow properly, they will have a lot of diseases. Excuse me ma'am, can you please, uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the resource, uh, the, the deficiency diseases I am not able to see, can you, uh, now okay teacher. Okay, now vitamin B6, vitamin B6, see egg is a egg and milk and meat, you will find most of the vitamins are there. So you need to have a lot of non-vegetarian food also, correct? And in case one is non-vegetarian, even milk is, you know, has a lot of vitamin, almost all the vitamins in it. So vitamin B6 helps us to digest the protein. If we do not have Ma'am, but the, what should the people, vegetarian people do? So vegetarian, that's what I said, vegetarian people can have milk. Milk has a lot of vitamins in it. They will have okay, ma'am. They will have paneer, they have dairy products, they'll have a lot of green leafy vegetables. Yeah. So, in case B6 is less, it will cause anemia. Anemia means khun ki kami. The red blood cells would be less. The person will feel a lot of weakness. Okay. Now, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 also, it's the same. You know, pernicious anemia, matlab, a little more little more advanced kind of anemia. Anemia is also of different kinds. Ma'am, in that situation, what is the solution for anemia? Anemia, you need to have a lot of B12 and B6 food. You need to have a lot of iron rich food. We will discuss about iron here also in minerals. You need to have guava, apple, spinach. These are very high in iron. Iron okay, and vitamin. Okay. Now thank that you, was yeah, thank you. So that was our portion with vitamins, right?